stretcher bar, and the type of stretcher bar that I would recommend is a manufactured stretcher bar. If you get a homemade stretcher bar, uh, the only way to join them is to screw them or nail them and glue them, and they don't stretch. And that's the reason why they're called stretcher bars is they have the ability, because of these tenons, to move in and out. So you can actually push them into the frame and stretch it tightly into the frame. It also helps with the uh, uh, when the canvas ha uh, suffers from a little bit of humidity, there might be a slight wrinkle. Well, you can take the stretcher bars and stretch them into the edges of the corn of the canvas. The stretcher bars that I prefer are these uh, manufactured stretcher bars. I believe they're by Fredericks, distributed by uh, Utrecht. Are these with the quarter round bevels? These still these are raised high enough to, to get your, your canvas so it does not touch the edge of the stretcher bar. You want it a, a, a good distance off. If you have the little pre-manufactured ones where there's, there's only an eighth of an inch, uh, you'll end up getting a line painted along your painting. This one, this quarter round is probably about a quarter inch, uh, three eighths of, of an inch off the uh, off the bar. This is well over half an inch. This is a heavy duty stretcher bar. And this quarter round is well over half an inch. You want it to ha have a nice sanded bevel here so that it doesn't uh, uh, tear up your linen. Now the tools you're gonna want to stretch your, your, your canvas are a square, tape measure, canvas pliers, tacks, Stretcher bars, make sure that they're all the same size, even sizes. This is 18 by 22. Hammer, scissors, and a razor blade, and pencil. I'll provide a uh, link where you can get a PDF of each one of these instructional videos along with the materials and supplies. You want to drive these uh, stretchers in straight. You don't want them to be going crooked because if they go crooked, you can uh, snap the tenon. I like to try and get it in by hand. If I can't, then I have to a little persuasion. Okay, that's gonna very rarely stretcher come out square first time around. I usually have to make a few little adjustments. Okay. So I'm going to have to send it this way a little bit to the right. The right, that eighth of an inch. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. It's important to know the difference between the weft and the ward. ward. The weft runs horizontal against the roll, and the warp runs with the roll. The rope is the, the, the warp is the long strands, and the weft are the short strands. If there's anything weak within the fabric, it will be within the weft and not the warp. The important thing to remember in the canvas, stretching your canvas, is 
is that you want it to run parallel to your stretcher bars. So the warp and weft should run as parallel to, to the stretcher bars. You don't want to put it in like that. You want it parallel. I want to give myself plenty of room, plenty of material to work with. Now this is the salvage, this little line here, and that shows that that's the end of the roll on the, on the sides of the roll. So anything that's running this way to the salvage is the weft. Well, it could go half, 22 is 11. 11. 18 is 9. I like to get things really accurate at first. Even though you have an accurate eye, if you're off a little bit, then it kind of makes everything go off quite a bit. So getting sharp tacks, start is important. And I bend it over so that both edges so that it's centered. This can get pushed. You want about equal amounts. So this is about okay. It's fairly centered. Now take my pencil and where that mark is on the back of the frame, I'm going to put it right on the linen. For this first one, we don't need the canvas pliers. The driver's tack in nice and square, straight. Now this other side, the linen has a tendency to want to shift so you want to make sure that it stays parallel. Again, where the mark was on the stretcher, put it on your linen. <coughs> now with your stretcher, your pliers, you've got a little leverage uh, nub here, and you use that to leverage your to leverage your linen. Okay, so we're going to hold tight. My pliers are centered over the line, so I know exactly where put it now there's a little bit less <coughs> excuse me there's a little bit less on this side than this side so I'm going to start with this because if this starts out short and I start pulling it this way then that's going to end up mega short So again, find that line, mark it on the linen, find a nice sharp tack, and pull. Don't go crazy on this one. Center to center, center of the stretcher bar, center. Make a mark where that mark was on the center, make it right on the lemon. And now you can pull nice and tight. Okay. So, 
This one's a little shorter, so I'll start on that side. And I like to use my canvas pliers. to make my marks. And I can do that all the way around for right now. This one's the less, so we'll start with that one. And give it a nice gentle tug. Put the center of your pliers right over the center of that line, pull. Around. This one's the shorter end, so I'm going to start with the shorter end first. Hold oh, nice and tight. Again, I like to mark back side again. These are my pliers as a reference. Starting with the shirt with the one with the let least. Now these are about equal. Two sharp tacks. Opposite sides, I was working opposite sides back to back.
Now with the tenon, if you go straight in, there's a chance that you're going to plow into uh, the gap between the tenons. So we drive the uh, end pieces at an angle. That way they won't pop out. Okay, now this one we're going to do hospital corners on the ends. Try to be angle if you can. That's going to be offset a little bit because we want this tap to go right through the center of that little triangle. Again, at an angle. And repeat that for the rest. From the hospital corner. Tack at an angle through the center of that triangle. And it's going to stay in there nice and tight. True. Hospital corner there. I'm going to really make sure I get that angle right. There you have it. Hospital corners. This is slightly offset, so it goes through the center of that little triangle. It's all equal, and we're ready to prime to uh, size it.